Hello everyone, we're going to do something a little different today. We're going to do a sensory toy and we're going to make a sensory feely glove, like a stress ball. Okay, we could use um, gloves or balloons or anything you've got in your house similar. And we're going to have fun making a sensory feely stress glove. Okay, so what we need today is, is a glove and I'm just going to quickly blow it up just to make it nice and roomy and not sticky. Okay, we need a funnel for pouring um, our sensory feely bits for inside um, and a selection of different kinds of things to fill it with. So cornflower is always a really, really good one because it's got a lovely texture when you need your ball or your glove. Um, there's, I'm trying, just using up some pearl barley from my cupboard at home, or rice would do, or lentils. Um, I have seen it done with small marbles as well. So anything that gives a different texture. So today, I think for ease of pouring, we're going to just use our pearl barley. Okay, so I've blown up my glove, I'm gonna give it a good shake. And I'm going to pop the funnel in there. And now I'm going to just pour. The trick is not to put too much in the funnel or it gets clogged up. twist it round and knot it at the top or you could use an elastic band. So we are going to twist it there out and knot it, which is quite difficult to do so you may need a grown up or an adult I should say or somebody with strong hands to do this bit for you. Now there we go, and here you see there we've got a good strong knot. Okay, now, now it's finished, I'm going to have great fun just feeling it. Good. So if you want a softer, softer texture, as I say, the cornflower is a really, really good one to use. Or you could just use flour, but cornflour has a kind of texture all of its own. Um, or marbles or something else. But you have fun making a selection of stress gloves or if you use a balloon it becomes more of a stress ball. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Good luck. I might see your results on Twitter.